All right, mud lovers, what an amazing site that is. That's a drain canal. I'm in central London, that's Victoria Park just over there, and this is the Regent's Canal. We've been invited along by the Canal and River Trust to help clean up some of this river. We're going to take out the plastics and any metalwork, and hopefully there'll be a few good finds to find as well. So without further ado, let's get some luck in the muck. today. Didn't know it was so popular. Lovely old barge there. Being used as a rubbish dump. The Regent's Canal was first used in 1816 and was designed to bring in bulky cargo from the Thames at Limehouse, such as coal, to supply the numerous gas works. Eventually the rail network grew and the canals fell out of favour. Despite a brief swan song during World War I and World War II, it is now used mostly by leisure boats. Here we are, is the uh, first stretch of canal. Look, Cass is liking what you're seeing. Worth the day off work, Cass. <laughs> yeah. Let's get down and dirty with it. Some luck in the muck. That's a toy gun. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> I think so. Yeah, fan. All right, my brothers. Today I'm with Iona from the Canal and River Trust, and we are doing some litter picking today. We're picking up all sorts of stuff that's been dropped in the past. Uh, it's an organised event. We've got a nice crew of us today. And Iona, can you tell us a bit more about the Canal and River Trust? Okay, so the Canal and River Trust, as our name would suggest, we work around the canals and rivers. This patch is in the central area so we're on the Hartford Union attached to the Regents Canal and the River Lee. This canal has been drained to do some scheduled maintenance to the walls uh, just to reinforce them and make sure they are safe and it's provided us with a unique opportunity to head onto the bottom and clean up some of the stuff that has been lost over the years. So there we go guys so let's see what we can find in the canals. The stretch we are in today is the Hartford Union Canal and was built in 1830 as a link between the Regent's Canal and the River Lee, but it was a commercial failure. It cost too much and didn't claw back enough in tolls and was taken over by the Grand Union Canal Company. Today both canals are looked after by the Canal and River Trust, who have invited us down today. And if you come across any sharks just like me or one of my colleagues, we will deal with it. Don't uh, try and pick them up or hand them yourselves, okay? Cuffs has just found a coin. Um, Not even down there yet. It's right. There we go. Probably a 10p, but still. It's like a 10p, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to film you struggling, Mike. <laughs> You're right. Jump around. Jump on. Jump on. We just got Lucky. down and Mike's already no, sinking. Literally. Whereas I float on the mud. <laughs> He's actually quite. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Just twist your foot. Twist your foot. It smells lovely, Mike. <laughs> it smells like pond. That bit of ladder is probably the worst spot there. Mike, I found you. I got your 10p, Mike. I got this. Yeah, mate, you sure. Put your put your arm on my knee, right? Put your your hand on my knee. That's it. It's a block there. Here we go. Well, you're right. Oh, drama! It's only just started. 
All that for 10p. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, go and find your 10p now, Mike. Oh, I'm not going back over there. <laughs> Skills. These are the crap we've got to pick up. First piece of litter. Modern. Hello, little coot. Get very close to me. Very nice. Little tea light, elephant tea light. Yeah, <laughs> pretty good nick as well. Yeah. Because it came off the back of someone's boat. See the Buddha over the other side as well. Look on the other side of the bank. There's a Buddha underneath there. Oh, I'd love to take that home, that's awesome. Well, this is definitely the coolest thing that's come out. Let's pray for good finds. I was just doing this little bit. It's like an old um, old bird cage there. Look. How cool is that? Hey, cuffs! Victorian bird cage. Let's get it out. Oh, there's some uh, crabs in there. <laughs> we found that, someone up there? Uh, yeah, that young lad just there. Oh, nice, little horseshoe. Yeah. And I only tells me there's a bit of a story between the connection between the horses and the canals. So the history of horses and canals starts in the Industrial Revolution and what happened is canal boats, before they had engines, they were powered by horses that would be tethered to the boats and walk down the towpath. And that's why we have a lot of old buildings and such called the stables by canals, oh. because that's where the horses would be put to, to rest or to stay overnight. Now, a uh, fun fact is the one challenge caused was that the horses couldn't go through tunnels. So you had people who would walk boats through tunnels so essentially they would unhitch the horses and they would lie on top of the boat or be pressed against the side of the boat and oh. use their feet to just walk the boat through i've seen that before yeah that's really cool yeah um and they even used to there are some sites if you look at the towpath while many have been filled in you can see areas where the towpath would have dipped slightly into the canal and that's if a horse had fallen in it would allow them to get back out oh wow that's really cool Great little facts. So this could be 200 years old. Oh, easily, I'd have thought. Mm -hmm. Right, the Regents is 200 years old. Oh, so. there we go. <laughs> Any other finds been made down the end? Uh, we've got a broken iPad and a phone. <laughs> and a pram. And a Samsung tablet down there. And a wallet. Oh, yeah. Oh, nothing in the wallet. <laughs> so this is quite a fun find. It is. Thank you. Well, it's not. That's awesome. Yeah. Nice. That's so cool. <laughs> How nice is that? Very nice. You're very lucky, you might have a name on it. I know, exactly. It's a great find, isn't it? I wonder if that's brass. Yes, I think so. Yes. That'd clean up lovely, it's wouldn't it? Yeah, it would do. Yeah, Last okay. bell. Definitely. Then you go from the lovely to the absolute grotesque. I can't see a name on it.
Oh, here you are. The good ship Venus. <laughs> oh, that's my boat, mate. That's Venus. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, that's mine, definitely. My God, yeah. you should have seen us. <laughs> hey! Do the time. Six bells. <laughs> Bring out your dead. It's got a lovely ring to it, isn't it? On the dirt ship Venus, by Christ you should have seen us Pick a river's door in bed, suck the red up oh. Captain oh. was a lager, by Christ he was a bugger He won't be to shovel sh** from one place to another It's a muddy old business yeah. Cabin boy was kipper, by Christ he was a nipper Stuck front and love of his arse Go on, Sai. Nice. Look at that. Daniel was almost there then with that pot. Thank you, Val. <laughs> Yay! Nice. Didn't have anyone. Oh, I reckon that'll still work. How the hell does that end up in here? This is my 1960s, 70s shopping basket, complete with milk bottles from the same era. Nice old bucket, that. Fire bucket, ash bucket. There's an ash bucket. There you go, there's an animal. If you're squeamish, look away now. It's just there. How do you get it? Oh, mate. Yeah. Oh, that's Oh, Dan's found a grappling hook. Just gonna untangle it and it's, it should be good for looking at big lumps of iron like that if he's a good aim. Huh. Oh that's a good like shot to me. Oh what a star. Oh that's the trouble in it. <laughs> End up catching yourself if you're not careful. <laughs> Do you, win a, do you win a prize if you get it? <laughs> yeah, hey, cod bottle! Is it broken? Oh, I think they found a broken cod bottle. We'll go and check that in a second. It's a good shot. Look at that. Oh. Kind of wheel, really. <laughs> That's quite an old bike. That's quite vintage by the look of the handlebars. It's like been hit by a few boats as well. That's nice. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Ah, not so much a bike. Front end. That's pretty cool, though. Well done! Look at that. Sometimes they got the little um, shield still on the front of the. Oh uh... uh, yeah. Yeah, it would have probably there. Look. Oh, it's all gone. It's all rusted. Better find out the maker, but I think it's all gone. Oh, is it a local maker? Basic. It's like it says, Suprema. If you put it near it, we can find some light in the shed, I'm sure. Oh yeah, Beatty. That's a nice lemonade bottle. 
obviously uh, been smashed so they could get the marble. That's nice. Yeah, I think it says Suprema on the side there. Cool. We'll keep that one. That's right, that one's going to come out. I reckon we could check that off. Yeah, this will come out. The cost has just spotted this a little uh, stoneware. Hopefully, we can. Uh... Oh, the top's gone. Maybe. Oh, the name on it, though, hopefully. Oh, oh there is. It's Beatty. Beatty again. Or is it all white? Not, not really all. Nice. That's mad, isn't it? It just shows you. Uh... Stop here. Let's see if we can get it out. Well, this is archaeology. <laughs> there you go. Our whites, is it? Yeah, our whites. Yeah, yeah, our whites. Yeah, it's well in there. Got the concrete. I don't know if we're going to get that out with the concrete. No, I think that's, I think that's going to stay there for another generation. Yeah. Never mind, though. Yeah, Still a little... Behind for the next... If, next we had it, for the though. if it was a rare one, we'd probably make more of an effort, but yeah. these ones are fairly common. Probably only worth about five quid if you was to buy it in a in a antique shop or online mm, it's like a probably a three iron <laughs> there we go it's a sandwich cleveland it's a sandwich do you know what it's a sandwich and we're just about to eat our sandwiches Oh. I'll do with you, Mike. We have a sandwich oh, whilst nice. eating your sandwiches. Do you need an offering now? There's got to be a base to it. <laughs> Something would be enrolled on that. Complete with a sports sock. Yeah. It's nice. Nice bit of cast iron. Cast iron rollers. <laughs> it may look like I'm just stood up here filming everyone. Doing sort of all. And I am. Just for now. Otherwise we're going to miss it all. Someone's got to film all this. And it's got to be me. I'm getting stuck in a minute though. It's a, it's a flat screen telly. This is like a really bad version of Bullseye. <laughs> <laughs> Better prizes though. <laughs> if you do win the boat, we're on a canal. <laughs> yeah. That's a really good find. Yeah, got fish, it's a salt. Francis, you were yeah. just about to leave and what did you find? Uh, I found a BB gun, I think. I don't even know, it's not a real man. 100% it's not real. <laughs> no way that's real. <laughs> it looked real because it was like that was all in there. Right now. all this stuff uh, do what we can eh? well here is a little lantern I don't think it's particularly old well they could be the trouble is I don't want us to take anything away today so uh, I'll have to just bin this one plus it's very very rusted cool little find though let's put that in the rubbish eh so there are a few older finds knocking around so this is an old um Old jam jar, 1920s, sadly broken. I don't think that's going to do any real damage sitting there, so that'll probably be all right. As it's not plastic, and this, I'm not sure what that is, it might be a little desk ink. Again, sadly broken. I thought it was a pot lid at first, a teapot lid. Well, Mike has found a World War One helmet. Really? <laughs> oh, what up, Mike? That's a beauty. 
Yeah. You sure it's not a tortoise? Well. You sure it's not a tortoise? <laughs> 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 Awesome. We'll have a close up look at that later. I don't think he dare. He doesn't want to mess up his lovely hair. All the leather inside as well. All the one That's amazing. You got to take that. Rest this nice hair up. Oh well, I might spike a fine. Do with that. We should take it home. <laughs> oh, maybe they'll let you borrow it and then, or maybe they can borrow it and give it back to you. It probably is that Yeah. It could well be, yeah. Home. Air raid control. Uh, air control. Um, yeah, all these lovely houses backing onto the canal. <laughs> There's another little pot, but sadly it's broken. Just there. Right, lane yard over there. Stone sink. Uh, I got it. What's his name? Brendan something. Oh, he's a volunteer. Oh. What kind of river trust? Outward. Uh, what's outward? No oh, idea. If found, <laughs> if found, please call this number. Five might, pound reward, that'd be nice. <laughs> maybe, I'll, maybe I'll call him and give it back. That seems the right thing to do. Maybe you won't want that, Bill. You might want the card. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think it makes him... What is that? That's like a, that looks like a uh, sewing machine. A sewing machine, maybe? Yeah, this is a lock collar. And that goes around the post of the lock and is the brace for the gate as it oh, turns. Oh, nice. Oh, is that a piece of lock? Yeah, lock collar. That's a lock collar, yeah. Oh, cool. I yeah, might we'll bring that, that back the to the pile. stable. Uh, yeah, we'll bring that, we'll put that in the pile of interest and stuff. That's... Show yeah. me the pile of interest and stuff. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, heritage pile. Heritage I pile. Just... It's the pile of anything heritage. And now we're going to look at the interesting pile of heritage things that we, uh, we can have a mull over and see if there's anything cool in there. Is that an old collar from a lock? Yeah, that's a collar from a lock. That's, that's a funny. slate door uh, letterbox thing. Yeah. A bottle from the 60s, a horseshoe and a World War II helmet. That's cool. Cuffs, you can talk about your helmet. Uh, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, if it's like air raid one, it could be. It's yeah. well, it's that's, that's the point of the day, look, and it's even got. got the spring is a bit. It's even got yeah, some of the uh, yeah. insides left. Did you say there was leather in there as well? That's all that like, foamy leather. Yeah, that's leather. That's leather. Though. That's awesome. Sometimes they've got a maker's mark, haven't they, in the inside, but I think there's no one might be fine. We find, sometimes we find these little buckles. Sometimes we find these, so that probably explains what these are from. Any World War One or World War Two experts out there that would like to be able to help identify the age of this, feel free to comment below. Well, that was day one. We'll come back tomorrow and we'll do it again. This time with the girls. Okay, well it's day two of the river clean up. We had a spectacular day yesterday. Loads of amazing things came up and we had a good time in the process. Let's see what today unfolds. So Nick, you excited about going down? Onto the muddy depths of the canal today? I'm, yeah, I'm, but I'm very, very excited. Yes, I am. Who knows what we'll find? I know. I can't think of anything <laughs> else I'd rather be doing on this lovely sunny day than going in a canal to see what treasures lie therein. I like these ladders, didn't I? <laughs> 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 
So we are going to be doing this section of the canal here. Go down that ladder. Good. You're going to get me gloves. You get down there. All right. I'm just trying out my waders. You know, I want to make the most of them, get my money's worth. <laughs> Are they working? Yeah, they're brilliant. I wish wear these. Next time I go hop crossing with you, I'm definitely wearing these. <laughs> yeah. It'd be a terrible time to find out that one I'm walking. <laughs> yeah, that's the worst thing to walk on. Oh, right. <laughs> Here. Brilliant. Yeah, it's James Cox of Bethnal Green. Oh, that's so. Yeah, isn't that that's great? A lovely I'll, local I'll one. I'll give that to you and then you can. Or do you want me to put it in my bag? Probably best. I was going to say throw it, but I'd hate for it to break. So why don't you put, put it in your bag and then. I'll put it in my bag and then. We'll have a look at the side when I get back. Yeah, well pleased. Awesome. Years and years and years of rubbish. Years of detritus. And I'm not likely, I don't think, to find any clay pipes in here. What's this? What's this? Oh, it's a little guitar. Oh, I found a little guitar. <laughs> a little guitar. A little broken guitar. That's the that's the method right there. You just just belly crawl all the way. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm digging myself out. <laughs> Well, it's a beautiful day down here in the drain canal. What could be better? Getting up to your knees in mud, clearing things up, looking for anything cool in the process. Well, we just found a bag. We're gonna rake it out and see if there's anything in it. So we had the bag out. I'm gonna glove up and see if there's anything in it. Probably just a school bag. Uh, you never know, it might be full of coins <laughs> from a heist. Simon's being hopeful here. <laughs> oh, that's empty. The main section is empty. Some, some people are oh, look at that mud. Oh, yeah. empty. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Empty bag, never mind. But one less bit of crap in the canal. Exactly. Shots. <laughs> ah, nice Pepsi bottle just been thrown up. We must be basket cases. I think you're right. <laughs> That's a muddy bit. 
Yeah. Right, there's a big basket full of stinky rubbish. Up to the guys to get rid of it. Cool, I just made it there. <laughs> just made it. <laughs> and then we get the next one. Let's fill this one up. Something else for you, coffee you. Oh. Hello? Mum? I'm busy right now, I'll call you back later. Mum's, eh? <laughs> Simon's got the big flat screen TV outlook. I wonder if it's got um, Canal Plus on it. <laughs> he didn't get my French joke, did he? To be fair to Nick, it was quite a funny joke, but I didn't hear you and I didn't know that Canal Plus was a French TV channel. Hi. Hello. Well, don't tell Nick, but I've found a bit of pipe stem. <laughs> so I'm beating Nick today on the pipe tally. <laughs> and maybe there'll be a bowl around it somewhere, but who knows? I find a tiny bit and I threw it away. Shh. I'm the only one who's found it. <laughs> no, there we go. So I there might be more around here. It's quite interesting, Sarah, because it's been dredged so they can do uh, repairs to the wall. This is the whole reason why it's been drained, really, because they can do repairs. So there might be something within all these dredgings. You never know. Probably there not, might but be. You never know. Exactly. And because it's a lock, I guess people will be standing on the side, maybe dropping stuff. Yeah, I've had a look around there. So sadly, there's not a lock. But... I've got something very oh, yeah. special. I've got a Christmas oh, that, decoration. That's, I just found that and chucked it back. Oh, wow. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's so I carried it around for about five minutes. So I thought, come on, Anna. What are the chances of you picking that out, though? There's so much to it around here. <laughs> I don't know. I I'm think... going to put it on my tree. Are you? Oh, Good yeah. for you. Absolutely. That's the ultimate upcycle right there. There we go. like a little um, safety box there probably we've got nothing in it but sometimes they take the valuables and leave all the costume jewelry we can only hope that there's something inside i might take it over to the side and crack it open a bit deep around here here's the side finds what's he got oh <gasps> have you you've got to share it with me <laughs> oh look it's probably just full of mud just like the bag, but sometimes if it's been stolen, they'll take anything valuable, potentially leaving behind like costume jewelry, yeah, something like that, or maybe some identification or something. So, do we, should we see what's inside it or leave it? Yeah, behind? let's. <laughs> should we go over there? Or I love your eternally positive attitude, <laughs> Simon. <laughs> Come on, treasure. What's going to be in the box? Oh, is there anything in there? Tip it, tip it. I like, I like to finger it. <laughs> There's like yeah. another layer. Yeah. Oh, that's a tray. Is it a tray? I think that's it. God, blimey. <laughs> this is um, slicing your hand open territory. If it was nickel, there'd be a voodoo doll and about 100 pieces of jewellery. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing there so far. What does it look like? They're like little handles. Yeah, it almost does, doesn't it? It's like a little slide out section. Well, not this time, but. There's, there's like another layer underneath it. There's, there's a box in a box. Mm. See, there's like, that's not the bottom. Oh, uh, yeah. The bottom is underneath there. Okay. Oh. Like cemented in. All the mud. I don't think you're going to. Oh, that's right. Shit. A screwdriver. Look, clay pipe. No. Stem. Really? Oh my goodness. That's my second one now. Oh. I reckon if we take this tray can come out. Okay, it's the big moment. That's the tray. Oh, you got the tray out. Anything in there? Yeah. Oh. oh no way. So just inside was a couple of bulldog clips that they would have held probably some paperwork or perhaps a roll of money. 
such inconsiderate thieves, aren't they? Okay. Could have at least left us a little tip. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, maybe next time. <laughs> So they're earning their keep by removing rubbish from the canal. It's a lovely okay. bike. There you go. On your bike. <laughs> there we go. I've found something. <laughs> A little Flamerville toy. Actually, Nick, oh. that might belong in your uh, studio. If oh, can, I think you, it does. If you can fit him in now. He hasn't got any hair, but uh, maybe a little hat. Oh, he'll be so happy in the Thames Toys Orphanage. There we go. <laughs> Hope he has a happy, happy life. He can be a canal cousin. Yes, it. <laughs> I've just found a, a broken new offering. Oh, I made it muddy in there. It's a broken Hindu offering. That's nice. No head on him. A padlock. Oh, a padlock. And a coin. Punch me a penny. Oh, you got a coin. Five P. Five P. Okay. Well, that's still five P. We got it, Mike. Ah, with love. Valentine's Day has come late. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll take it out there. We'll open it up. Yeah. Can't do Should we open it up when it's a bit drier? Put it your pocket. Yeah. You'll lose it. Oh, there we go. We can open it up in a sec. Open that up in a minute. See what it is. Hand painted in fine enamel by Crummles and Saint. Jam. Don't drop oh, it with a human eye. Oh my god. No, don't worry, right. You're deadly honest. No, you did it, Mike. No, uh, you're deadly honest. Yeah. Deadly honest. Drop empty. Oh, empty. Oh, that's a game. Oh. With love. Go that way. That way. That was a good haul today, look. All this stuff we all dragged up. Not just me, but there's a whole team of us. So look at all this that Simon has pulled out of the canal. Well done, Simon. You've done a grand job there. Thank you. Yeah, it's, no, it's, it's nice to give something back, in it, to... Uh, to help the environment, we do take a lot of stuff out of the Thames, yeah. you know, historically stuff, but mm -hmm. it's nice to, you know, take stuff out which is actually helping the environment. So, yeah, feel good and help, help yeah. the rivers, help the well rivers. Well done, well done. Oh, it's a gorilla actually, it's not a monkey at all. Well, it's a whimsy, it's a whimsy oh. yeah. as well, yeah. Wade. Wade. Yeah. I used to collect those. I did too. Oh, plenty oh, of monkey around today. He's not a monkey, he's a gorilla. I keep oh. finding monkeys. I think I, I oh, think it's a sign. It? That's a gorilla. Do you remember <laughs> I found a monkey the other day? Yeah. At, um, yeah. The, that beach. And mm. I also found the stuffed monkey. Sorry, <laughs> she's got whimsy too. Oh, wow. So it flowed. got a polar bear. Hello. Were they found at the same little spot? <laughs> they were at the same oh, spot. So maybe someone's a. Uh, I think they're friends. Monkey collection. Yeah. They were friends. Now they're going to be separated. <laughs> they can have play dates. They'll be top. Oh wow, that's awesome. Yeah, I like, I think it's 60s. That's a um, nice one, Anna. Danger. You see something on the foreshore from time to time, don't we? <laughs> oh, we have another, we have a matching pair. No, matching trio. Matching trio. Oh, what With a beautiful girls. trio. <laughs> They're good, aren't they? Danger, your, danger's your middle name. I love them. <laughs> So Anna, you got a little Tizer bottle? Tizer bottle. It's pretty pretty, isn't it? It is. Lovely designed. Well, can that stop a type, we think? Look. Possibly, yeah, yeah. Definitely have a later, later version, but definitely would have had that sort of bottle in. Yeah. Stopper in, sorry. Yeah, well done. It reminds me of high youth. <laughs> that's weird. Is that a screw through its nose? Oh yeah, it's definitely been voodooed. Oh yeah. <laughs>
Are you going to take it home and put it in the... Um... I'm not taking it home, no. <laughs> I draw the it line It doesn't belong in the toy sanctuary. Oh, Sorry, she'll not? bully all the toys. Oh, I suppose so. Imagine, wasn't there one in Toy Story that was... Yeah, there was actually. Yeah. The, one of the ones that belong to that horrible little boy next door. <laughs> oh, look, sorry, there's the. Oh, yeah, wow. Oh, oh that's gorgeous. Oh, that's so good, isn't it? Oh, how frustrating. James Cox. Yeah. And so, where does it say Bethnal Green? It says Bethnal Green on the. Oh, of course it does, yeah. Bethnal Green. Fantastic. That's a super fine, neat. Well done. Beautiful. Quite a cool old coal bucket. <laughs> Turn sideways. Oh. So yes, it, so this uh, this was found the other day. Uh, it's a sword of some description. It's got a cool little bit on the handle. So if anybody's got any ideas, we don't know if it's well. It's definitely got some age to it. Mm. It's rivets of hand. Done, Probably too like. long to be a bayonet, but. It's interesting now that would have gone around a wooden handle. Maybe if you was to grind that down or clean that carefully, you'd get a, a maker's mark. But mm. it's interesting, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, probably it might be a, a sort of officer's sword. Yeah, interesting. Any experts out there? Leave a comment below. Let us know what we found. I don't think it's a machete because of the groove down there.